Hey, it's Jeannie from Apartment Jeannie, and all I have to say is none of you would have guessed that I was a film major in college based on how long it took me to get this tripod set up. And it's still crooked. I can't figure that out. I don't understand. I even took the level app out and to like make sure the camera is straight, but it isn't. But that's not why you came here today. Today, you came here to learn about Tuesday's tip. And I want to preface all the like videos I've been putting out and the tips that I've been giving you isn't to make you feel badly because you're not doing them or that you should be doing them with all this extra time you have on hands. These are just literally tips, suggestions, recommendations, things for you to help have some accountability while we're all like hunkered down, be able to do things, have the guidance and the support of a professional such as me, Apartment Genie, but more importantly, just to be able to give you some opportunity to like streamline things in the home. See, now that we're home so often, we can see where there might be cracks in our like support and our structure and our systems. And Lord, the hair is not so cute today. But anyway, I wanted to really talk about one of the things you can do, it's a passive activity, it's something that's easy, and it's something that I know that everyone needs to do it. It is cleaning out your contacts. Cleaning out all the contacts, like I know personally that like when I once had an Android phone because well, Sprint didn't do uh, iPhones and I am loyal to a fault to things like Sprint, that when I got my phone, it just like replicated all the addresses. It didn't merge them. So like I have for one of my friends, I have five different listings for her. She's never moved in the time that I've known her, never changed the phone number, but she has five different things. So doing that systematically, going through your contacts, merging what you can merge, eliminating people. And then I know there's gotta be a treasure trove of info at addresses in your contact list. People that you sent one thing to, a return that you need to make to a store, or contact someone you should delete all those unless it's something that you know you're gonna need again but generally we're going through the website to do those things and it automatically takes us to the info at so do it while you're watching television do it while like you know you're taking a little break maybe you're sitting outside it's a gorgeous day here in New York I haven't gone outside but I can tell from my window because there are people sunbathing across the street not practicing social distancing but sunbathing I gotta hope they're living in the same apartment though but anyway I want to talk about, you know, trying to do small scale down projects and also having accountability. And that's actually what I want to talk about too, is having accountability for these things. I'm here to support you. If you work with other organizers, they're here to support you. We want to make sure that everybody is maximizing the time they have inside because we know that once we're let out, we're probably not going to spend a great deal of time at home. And all those things that weren't working for you are going to start slipping through the cracks again. That being said, I have some really exciting news. I'm really excited. I am pumped, maybe a smidge nervous about it, but I am hosting a communal closet clean out. We are going to do our spring cleaning in our closets together as a community, as a group. I'm going to host this event on Saturday, April 18th, and again on Sunday, April 19th. It's a two day class, but it's only one day. You need to purchase for one day. We're gonna do it in two shifts. We're gonna do two hours on Saturday and 90 minutes on Sunday. And I'm going to be there to help you get your closet organized and straightened out and teach you the ease method. Um, the video that I posted previously, I'm going to actually walk you through those things and explain some of the reasons why it's important to empty out your closet and not just like go through with the hangers and decide what's good and what's uh, not. But anyway, there's going to be information posted. I'm going to do a ton of videos in support of it in the next couple weeks. But I would love it if you joined me on Saturday, April 18th, and again on Sunday, April 19th. Um, it's going to be 11 a.m. East Coast time in the um, profile, in the, um, I don't know what you call that, but where my website information is on um, Instagram. We have the forum already set up. It's Eventbrite. Um, if you are unable to pay the $97 for the three and a half hours, email me directly, DM me. I wanna be able to help you as well. We're gonna have a sliding scale for people that are affected by the coronavirus right now. And we wanna make sure as many people get in and have the accountability and the support and the guidance you need to clean out your closets because the minute we can go out, no one's dressing like this anymore. They are gonna put on the things that they love and miss and that the real world should see. Okay, I've spoken too long about this. I was just really excited that I didn't have to hold the phone. Um, I hope you all are doing well. I hope everyone's staying healthy. And I hope you all are staying safe and practice safe social distancing. Can't even get it out of my mouth. All right, I will speak to you soon. Bye.